The CDC is monitoring wastewater for COVID-19, and the latest results are not good. More than a third of the CDC's sample sites across the United States show an increase in COVID-19. Bloomberg reports that Cook County had more than a thousand percent increase. But wastewater tracking is so new that it's not clear what the increase might mean in practical terms. Wastewater surveillance is still largely in its not infancy, but it's toddlerhood, perhaps. Chicago's top doctor also says they are watching wastewater data, but they also follow a lot of other data as well. And right now, it's all looking very good as we hit the two-year mark of the pandemic really hitting Chicago. Sally Schulze has more on that. It's been a long, challenging two years since COVID-19 first hit home here in Chicago. Mayor Lori Lightfoot and the city's health leaders look back. Two years since the first death in Chicago, a retired nurse died from COVID March 16th, 2020. Then came the shutdown, a drastic response they plan to never use again. My goal, and you heard it from Dr. Arwady, is to never shut our city down again. More than 7,500 Chicagoans have died from COVID. But as we all put on masks, socially distanced, and got vaccinated, Chicagoans stepped up to save lives, too. And Dr. Allison Arwady wishes we could stop talking about this. I hope you barely hear from me again on this topic. Okay. But we need to talk about vaccines. 77% of Chicagoans have received at least one dose of a vaccine. Most of those dying haven't gotten the shot. Every week we still are seeing 10 to 15 of our residents die every week. And while cases are low here, they're increasing fast in parts of Asia and Europe. Can I promise COVID is over? No. But my team is continuing to monitor every day. The variants, the data, seeing what we're learning every, every week, focusing on the science. And I wanna thank everybody in Chicago for helping us put that science into place. Dr. Arwady says there's always a chance we might have to put those masks back on, but she says it would only be temporary if there's another surge. Reporting downtown, Sally Schulze, Fox 32, Chicago.